Bill County prosecutors are dropping charges against 12 people once thought to be connected to the Bishop State scholarship scandal. An announcement came this morning. Fox 10 News reporter Hubert Tate trying to find out whether those people will now get their jobs back. Twelve people possibly tied to the financial aid scandal at Bishop State are clear tonight. Mobile County prosecutors say they are no longer seeking criminal charges against the people they describe as low-level offenders. These were the last of the cases that had not been indicted and which have now been dismissed. Prosecutors are now concentrating on who they believe are the prime suspects. Sixteen people were charged. Two of the cases are pending in circuit court. Two suspects are already pleaded guilty, and now 12 of the cases have been dropped. The scandal has been going on for more than four years. It was a bizarre scheme, which prosecutors say the suspects created fake students to get federal Pell Grants and scholarships. There was a woman in a wheelchair with one leg who uh, never attended Bishop State and was the recipient of a basketball scholarship. Since the charges against 12 of the defendants are dropped, will those people get their jobs back? Bishop State President James Lowe says, quote, I heard about today's action through the media. I have not seen the report, so I cannot comment at this time until I have the opportunity to review that information, end quote. Meanwhile, prosecutors are focusing on the accused ringleaders of the crime. It appeared to us that the interest of justice would best be served by ending the prosecutions against these low-level people. People who have now been cleared of any wrongdoing. Reporting in Mobile, Hubert Tate, Fox 10 News. And that was the case of just one of 465 cases reported by this month's grand jury.